Trace Beaulieu is probably best known for his roles on the program Mystery Science Theater 3000, where he played a mad scientist, as well as lending his voice and puppeteering skills to Crow T. Robot. Behind the scenes, Trace is also an artist. We talked with Trace during a recent showing of his work at the Riverland Community College in Austin. It's very personal, and this was all made w without wanting to show it to people, and this is the first time in about 12 years that I have shown it. Uh, but thank you all for uh, coming today. This is really great. Uh, I didn't expect such a uh, big turnout, but I know it is raining, and it's dry in here, so it was nice of you to come. I'm Trace Beaulieu. I'm an actor, writer, puppeteer, now labeled as artist. You may have seen me in Mystery Science Theater 3000 as a mad scientist, or maybe you did not see me in Mystery Science Theater as a puppeteer. I played Crow T. Robot. I guess I am uh, an expressive person. I, I, I guess I have chosen a lot of different ways to get my thoughts across, either in joke form, uh, or in the case of this gallery show, in a uh, visual form. The, the visual stuff, I'm rather kind of close, kind of hold that in a, a very close, private way. I think this one is to scale. There's a person here to show you exactly how big that would actually be. And I think it's a reaction to presenting uh, jokes uh, because those would, are very easy to critique, and it's either funny or it isn't funny. With art, it's a little more mysterious. You can look at it and go, gee, I don't get it, but it must be art. So the, I can get away with a lot more, I think. I collect a lot of material, uh, found objects and toys and uh, frames and, and just everything that comes through my life, a number of things I'll just take apart, you know. Uh, I love to explore taking apart typewriters or taking apart fans or motors or ev just everything. And at, at the end of the day, I have a big pile of material to work from. The, the pieces really tell me what they want to be. Uh, not a lot of people see my art because I most of the time it's in a box in my garage. I don't have an artist statement. I guess I should get one, but uh, since this stuff is so personal to me, I've never really uh, thought of how I would label it to present it. So um, I'm gonna have to work on an artist statement, or maybe artist without a statement. That's my statement. <laughs>